Hi guys, I'm Sean and in this video, you'll find out what schools are the best to attend if you want to get a degree in computer science. Now during my life, I've studied in many schools such as MIT, Oxford, Columbia, Imperial College, and I've worked with many different universities like Caltech, Stanford, and Berkeley. So based on my experience, I've decided to create a top list of schools for computer science in 2020 so that you who are looking to get a degree in computer science can have an actual clue of what schools are great to attend. Now I want to admit that this is just my personal experience and I believe that there are many other awesome schools for computer science which I just didn't mention. So let's start with the Ivy League. There are eight schools that compose of the Ivy League. There's Brown, Columbia, Cornell, Dartmouth, Harvard, Princeton, UPenn, and Yale. These schools have arguably the best reputation in general, and you find them typically dominating the top 10 best colleges on US News, Forbes, and Business Insider. Now I've only taken courses or studied at two of these, Columbia and Harvard, and both of these schools have highly structured computer science programs, and I've worked with extremely bright, sharp, and hardworking undergrads, grad students, and faculty from both of these two universities. Over time, I've observed that specific CS classes at both Columbia and Harvard possess such powerful followings that they create communities complete with their own internal norms and cultures. A top class at Harvard is CS50, taught by the charismatic David Mallon. Last I checked, CS50 gives students a taste of C, Python, JavaScript with CSS and HTML, and even SQL. Now in terms of customizing your CS education at Harvard, it's very flexible, with the option to explore a unique mind, brain, and behavior track, along with exploring joint concentrations. Now at Columbia, the CS program is strongly integrated with other divisions and schools. There are somewhere around like seven different specializations that range from intelligent systems to robotics. One standout class at Columbia, which I've noticed gives undergrads a really nice advantage after they finish their studies, is their exposure to C and C++ from CS3157. Now, Professor J used to teach this class, and as a mandatory requirement, I recall many of my undergraduate friends and students telling me that this class was brutal. However, years later, in the workforce, their exposure to C, C++, and Unix shell scripting serve them really, really well. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a computer science degree, consider that all of the Ivy League is good. But in my opinion, the top options are Harvard and Columbia. All right, so that's about it for the Ivy League review. And now let's talk about schools that are not in the Ivy League, but can still offer a world-class education in computer science in the US. These schools are Stanford, Caltech, Berkeley, and Carnegie Mellon. Stanford is nestled in the heart of Silicon Valley and it offers ample industry academic opportunity. They do a lot of innovative research in theory, com human computer interaction, and even artificial intelligence. They currently have 17 Nobel laureates teaching on their campus. Now, I used to work out of the basement in the Huang Engineering and Science Center, named after the CEO Jensen Huang of NVIDIA, and I will tell you, the hustle spirit at Stanford is strong. When I imagine the CS spirit of collaboration, I always think and imagine about the teamwork exhibited by Stanford students. From my friends who went to MIT with me and then went on to Stanford for their masters, a key element that stood out was actually their happiness level. Some people might attribute this to the fact that at least with most Stanford CS courses, and this is definitely not all, but there are some difficult classes, Somewhere between like 30 to 50% of students can actually get an A. And now let's discuss Berkeley. Berkeley is among the top public schools with a very affordable option compared to other schools mentioned. Now if you're from California and tight on money, Berkeley is a great alternative. I personally worked with blockchain at Berkeley and have several friends studying there in the computer science and robotics division. Known to be a pressure cooker, competition for space and class is fierce but this comes with the territory of most public universities. I recall that CS61A with the narrow transformed the lives of several people in my friend group, laying the foundation for people who have never programmed before or written software to suddenly be able to work in tech. So if you're not afraid of large classes, you're competitive and you're short on money, then Berkeley is an excellent choice. Now many people would argue that Caltech is among the toughest schools on the West Coast. It's one of the smallest universities in the US with less than a population of around 800 students per class. Their core curriculum is aggressive. All students are required to study quantum mechanics. Now the Center for Autonomous Systems is a new initiative launched by Caltech. 
with incredible faculty, including Dr. Anima Anandkumar, Isang Yue, Dr. Morteza Gareb, who also casually goes by Mori. Now, if you want a challenge, have the opportunity for ample one-on-one -on -one mentorship and communication with faculty, and you want to be half an hour away from La La Land, then check out Caltech. Now, the last on this list is Carnegie Mellon. Now, this school is particularly fascinating because it's top in two categories, both computer science and in drama. Among the schools in this category, CMU has one of the highest acceptance rates at around 17% in 2019. And the students in the school are committed, they're passionate, and they are no stranger to challenge. In fact, some of my colleagues and my friends from here have went on to do incredible things. They're now tech leads, directors, and IP lawyers who might have happened to build an Intel Pentium chip or two along the way. And now, the best university for CS is my alma mater, MIT. 1,056 professors, 90 Nobel laureates, 59 National Medal of Science winners, 75 MacArthur Fellows, and 15 Allen Turing Award winners. MIT is one of the hardest schools to attend in the United States. MIT's CS program, what we call Course 6, was and probably still is among the top three most popular and common majors at MIT. There's a wide range of experience that people come into Course 6 with. Now when I sat in on some classes, I would like have an International Chemistry Olympiad winner on my left, and somebody who had already interned at Amazon as a software engineer before they even began school on my right. The most valuable class at MIT that changed lives and paradigms was probably 6006, Introduction to Algorithms. Now from my experience, MIT's classes slanted just a little bit more theoretical than other universities. I think that this probably came from the department's emphasis that if we could learn how to learn, and if we could understand fundamental principles, then we could actually really solve anything or build any application. Now in this class, you typically had to understand the underlying theory or proof behind an algorithm, as well as being able to implement it in Python. MIT also had a culture of p-setting in groups. Teamwork was essential and late nights, full of glowing screens of LEDs and fluctuating levels of attention, stress, and flow were tantamount to the experience. By the way, DM me if you have any additional questions about MIT, I'm more than happy to share this with you. Alright, so you might think that MIT is among the best schools, which it is. However, I would also say, think twice before you come here. While you will be among some of the brightest minds and learn from some of the most inspiring and sharpest professors, we don't have great inflation here. You will drink from the fire hose, and you also will have to be ready for the greatest and largest challenge that you will probably ever have, both technically and mentally. Alright guys, so that's my review about some of the top schools for computer science in the US. As a bonus, I'd like to tell you that there are many, many great schools outside of the US. For instance, I've also studied and worked at the University of Waterloo, the University of Oxford, and even the Imperial College of London. Now these admission systems are totally different than what we have here in the US. And I'm happy to explain the difference to each of you guys and feel free again to message me if you want to learn more about some of your international options outside of good old America. Thanks so much for watching this video folks. Now if you found this video helpful then just please click like on the button below and subscribe to my channel. The question of the week is what school would you like to attend or which school did you study at? Feel free to leave your feedback and comments below. I can't wait to read them all. Thanks again for watching and looking forward to catching up with you guys next week.